But then what happens? So let's take Silvergate. Silvergate, uh, Silvergate has just announced that it's unwinding its operations and basically selling all its assets and, and uh, returning all the money to depositors and basically shutting its doors. How did that happen? Silvergate was one of, was a year and a half ago, two years ago, the most expensive bank in the United States. The most, you know, it, it seemed like this unbeatable, huge success. It had achieved that success by basically specializing in banking crypto, crypto funds, crypto exchanges, people who invested in crypto and businesses that invested in crypto held their deposits at Silvergate. And Silvergate was also very good at lending to crypto. And then when crypto was massively popular, right, in, um, in uh, 2020 and then 2021, Silvergate just had a ton of deposits coming in. They used those deposits to buy long-term securities because they wanted to make a little bit of money off of those deposits which was fine until crypto collapsed last year. And as crypto collapsed, people, and particularly when FTX went bankrupt and when the rest of crypto didn't really recover and Bitcoin remained under 20,000, suddenly people started withdrawing money from Silvergate, not because they didn't trust Silvergate anymore, but because they needed the cash. And, you know, they, they, again, these, uh, these were people dealing in crypto and the crypto assets were vastly diminished. And while Silvergate lost some money on loans it had made, it basically it, 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 its business was fine. It just started to see an outflow of deposits. And with FTX going bankrupt, that outflow accelerated and people were taking their money out of Silvergate. And that was fine for a while, but at some point, that required Silvergate to start selling its securities. Once it started selling its securities, it started booking real losses on those securities. Again, interest rates go up, value of securities goes down. And it basically got to a point, what is it, a week ago now? It seems like much longer, maybe two weeks ago, where it couldn't pay off its depositors anymore in an orderly way. And basically, it announced that it was liquidating, which means it was going to sell all its loans. It was going to take all that money, pay off the depositors, pay off its debt holders, and whatever was left would be distributed to shareholders. I think something will be left. I don't think Silvergate is bankrupt. It's in a liquidity crunch. It cannot, it cannot pay off. And this is a uh, you know, we can talk about why uh, what's a con why this even exists, why the liquidity problems even exist. Um, but, uh, and, and, and all, almost all of that is a consequence of deposit insurance and a consequence of bank regulations and a consequence of, of basically statism and it's the, the level of statism in the banking sector. So that's what happened with Silvergate. So Silvergate is, is in liquidation, basically, and shareholders will get something uh, it looks like if you look at the market, it looks like shareholders will get $3 a share. But if you think about the fact that this stock was trading, I can't remember what it was trading at, $150, $250 a share, it's come down 95%, 98%. That's a lot. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.